doesn't that just sound incredible? The Los Angeles Jewish Symphony is celebrating 30 years and they've got a special night of music coming up on April 14th featuring the Symphony of the Holocaust. Joining me now is Dr. Noreen Green, Artistic Director and Conductor of the LA Jewish Symphony. Thank you so much for joining me and congratulations on 30 years. Thank you so much and it's a pleasure to be here. You are the founder of the LA Jewish Symphony. Let's talk about 30 years. You guys will be performing in the same location you did 30 years ago. What is that significance for you? Well, when we were planning our 30 year anniversary, we talked about where would be the ideal place to have it. And it seemed like the natural thing to do was to go back to our debut venue, especially since the venue now is being uh, taken over by another temple. So mm -hmm. Wilshire Boulevard Temple bought University Synagogue. It's the same sanctuary, but they've remodeled it. So we're like the very first um, big concert that they're having in there since the sanctuary has been remodeled and it'll be wonderful to be back in that space. It's a gorgeous space and what they've done to it has really uh, improved it and mm -hmm. uh, we're very happy to be there. Incredible to go back at 30 years later because so much has changed but one of the featured works in the performance is Symphony of Holocaust. We know this was composed by a Holocaust survivor. Tell me about how the work came about, the story behind it. It's so interesting. Thank you. Yes, uh, so Symphony of the Holocaust was composed by Shawnee Alex Braun, and he survived four death camps, and he survived because of music, because of playing the violin. And um, this symphony represents the music that was in his head that helped him survive the mm -hmm. horrific thing that his body was going through. He had to somehow emotionally and mentally get through what was happening. And he was only 14 years old when he was interned into the first death camp. His, um, his lifetime goal was to have the Symphony of the Holocaust performed in front of the gates of, of Auschwitz. Yeah. And uh, we actually created a documentary. I was part of a documentary that brought it back. But the actual symphony is in five, move five movements. And it kind of goes through his life, what it was like mm -hmm. to be interned and all of a sudden found out what was happening to him and then a prayer asking for forgiveness uh, for God for helping them get through it and, and anything they could do and then the liberation you hear liberation the wow. armies come and save them and then there's a song of commemoration which is a very sad song because you realize that I survived he survived but not any of his family or friends and then the decision to live life and the last movement is the joy of life and it has klezmer influence and, and uh, roma influence the gypsy songs that he was uh, that influenced his composition as well as his classical training incredible that he composes music but what also an emotional experience this takes you through and an yes. educational experience for those who aren't jewish what are you hoping that they take away from something like this? Because I don't think you have to be Jewish to attend or... No, absolutely not. In you know, fact... Feel the, the emotion. Right. The, the mission of the symphony is to build bridges through music mm -hmm. and using uh, Jewish music as the link to other communities. Jews have been around for 5,000 years and we've lived in all parts of the world. And we take the music of whatever country we have lived in and and make it part of our tradition. So um, there's Ashkenazi Jews, which are Eastern European, and, and this uh, Klezmer piece, this Symphony of the Holocaust, has more of the Eastern European feel. But there's also Sephardic music, and we have a, a large education program called Patchwork of Cultures, where we use Sephardic music, which is, comes from Spain, mm -hmm. as a bridge between the Latino community here in Los Angeles mm -hmm. and the Jewish community. And we've serviced, um, over 20,000 kids over the years uh, mm -hmm. using music as a bridge. And um, it's very important as part of our mission to educate. And every concert is an education. Mm -hmm. I, I talk about the music before I present it so that people understand objectively why it fits into the theme of the concert and also subjectively why it resonates with me. Dr. Green, thank you so much for joining us. It sounds incredible and the emotional experience one can get from music and the connection they can get from music is absolutely incredible. Of course, if you would like to see the 30th anniversary concert on April 14th, you can find more information about the LA Jewish Symphony by going to kcalnews.com and clicking on Scene on TV.